today's Grand Theft Auto 6 video, we're going to be diving into the GTA 6 timeline, when you can expect the game, the pre-order date, and a whole lot more. So if you do enjoy videos like this on the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. So that's right, we're going to be kind of going over what we know so far from Grand Theft Auto 5 to GTA 6 on their basic timeline, and we're going to get a kind of a good idea of when Grand Theft Auto 6 2025 is going to be arriving, and when we can see trailer number 2, trailer number 3, and a whole lot more. Let's get into it, and let's get it started. So here we have a scale on the basic timeline. As you guys can see, Grand Theft Auto V, November 2, 2011, was the first teaser trailer. Then 253 days after, we got the first second screenshot, July 12th of 2012, when we got GTA V, with the screenshot that it was going to be arriving. And for GTA VI, December 5th, 2023, was when we got the official Trailer 1 trailer by Rockstar Games. And then August 14th, 2024, could be the possibility where we could see Trailer 2 as well. This is kind of an example of the release timeline and when you can just about expect Grand Theft Auto 6, as a lot of players have been speculating and talking about, that the game is going to release sometime in the winter or even in the fall of 2025. And we've seen Rockstar Games do that in the past with previous game dates. So it wouldn't be it wouldn't be different if Rockstar Games did the same thing to other Grand Theft Auto games as they did in the past with GTA 5. You guys remember that's when we got the teaser trailer. And then we also got the first screenshot of Grand Theft Auto 5. And I think that's what's going to happen next with Grand Theft Auto 6 is we'll get kind of like a trailer to teaser screenshot of when we can expect the game. And as if we fly forward here, you got 39 days until you can get the reveal of the Grand Theft Auto 6 screenshot. So this kind of gives you a good estimate. And this is what we're going to be diving into today. This good estimate timeline of when the game could arrive. And like I said, 39 days would give us kind of a new screenshot of the Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer. Because I know a lot of us have been expecting and we're all getting it kind of excited to see trailer 2. As we know, Grand Theft Auto 5 trailer 2 featured basically showing off Michael, Trevor, and Franklin. So we're kind of going to see that with Grand Theft Auto 6 where they kind of just, you know, introduce Jason and Lucia so that's another thing we definitely could see coming on in the coming days and it may be even a month away from trailer number two showing off Jason and Lucia kind of giving us a background on what their story is kind of get a little bit more idea as we know they have a romance relationship they're gonna have a baby so maybe we'll figure a little bit more about that which would you know, a lot of people have been excited to kind of get into that because I can only imagine this would be the first Grand Theft Auto game that actually had kids. Because remember, we talked about before that Grand Theft Auto 6 is going to have kids and GTA 5 couldn't due to some of the rules that Rockstar Games were playing. Because like I said, if you like had a kid who died or something like that, Rockstar Games could get in big trouble for that. So like I said, that's like the first thing that we've ever got kids. Now, once again, August 20 and 24 of 2012, 10 more screenshots were received for Grand Theft Auto V. And I'm sure a lot of you guys remember, I'm sure a lot of you guys were probably young back then and probably don't remember, but if some of you do, we got 10 more screenshots of the game. And that came out in August 2020, 20th, around the 24th of 2012. It's hard to believe. And then September 22 of 26, which was September 22, and then also the date of 26th of 2024 is when we could probably expect a few more screenshots for Grand Theft Auto 6, kind of hinting what's to come next. Because in that trailer that we've seen so many times, we've kind of seen a little bit more about the background about Vice City and kind of the overlook of what the vehicles are going to look like and kind of some of the weather patterns and what the prison and what the map is going to look like, you know, stuff like that, etc. So we could be able to see a little bit more in that instance there as we got 10 more screenshots from GTA 5. So that'd be the next 73 days. We'll probably receive something in September of 2024 a little bit more maybe about trailer 2 or some screenshots from trailer 2 before rockstar games officially release this because remember grand theft auto 6 is not coming until 2025 so that gives them plenty of time to throw trailer 2 trailer 3 trailer 4 and maybe even trailer 5 and some screenshots before the game arrives so we could find a little bit more and after of course 73 days have passed in November, we found the first previous pre-orders for Grand Theft Auto V. So that's exactly when we were started able to pre-order the game, basically getting the game early, getting it downloaded, 
downloading all the content so we wouldn't have to worry about waiting for our internet or anything like that. If you come home from school or work, we were able to install it right away. We didn't have to wait. And if you didn't pre-order it, once again, you just have to wait for the download process. Um, so November 8th or number November 5th and then the 8th of 2012, that was when we got the first preview pre-orders available. So we can kind of get a good idea of when we can expect this for Grand Theft Auto 6, that we could get the pre-order date sometime in December 8th or December 11th of 2024. So it'd be a, quite a bit of ways and quite a while, but we could still see a pre-order trailer for Rockstar Games basically letting us pre-order the game, which would kind of give us a hint of when we could definitely pre-order the game. So like I said, pre-orders in the past, once again, you basically just able to, it's like you're downloading the game, but you're not officially getting to play it. You're just pre-ordering it so you don't have to go through like the uploads downloads. I'm sure a lot of you know what pre-order is, but if there's some of you that probably are new to video games, you probably wouldn't know that, but this would be the fastest process. You pre-order a game, you won't have to worry about it. It'll download for you and the game will be ready to go and ready for you to play when the game launches. So obviously six days have passed, so that's when you can expect the pre-order date. Six days have passed and we were able to find some more screenshots of the game and Rockstar Games pretty good at updating us when they've got something new in the works. As we know, there's a Take-Two Interactive earnings call February 8th of 2024, which is coming up in a couple weeks actually. And that's when we're gonna probably find a little bit more. That's when we're going to find a little bit more probably about Grand Theft Auto 6. So there's going to be lots more to come with Rockstar Games. And of course, I'll always keep you guys updated on this as well. But you guys can see the six-day month period. November 14th, we were able to get the second trailer for Grand Theft Auto 5. So that's probably when we can see in the instance of GTA 6. And so that's when we got our second trailer kind of showing off our main characters. Now that second trailer would be a expected, or expected December 17th of 2024 is when we can get the second trailer for Rockstar Games' newest game, Grand Theft Auto 6. And that's when you can expect that to arrive. So we got that estimate due to the GTA 5 second trailer coming out November 14th of 2012. A few other things, once again, that would be the first preview of pre-orders available between December 8th and 11th of 2024 is when we can expect that. As we know, that is the second trailer. So due to this timeline, we're able to kind of get a good idea of when to expect this. And then January 31 of 2013, we got the release date announced in March 4th, 2025 could be the release date for Grand Theft Auto 6. And cover art release would be May 5th of 2025 as GTA 5's was April 2, 2013. And then also April 30th of 2013, we got the protagonist trailers and that's when we can expect the Grand Theft Auto 6 trailers in June, June 2nd of 2025 is when we can expect a little bit more about our protagonist trailers. And we don't know if Rockstar Games is going to do the same pattern as they did with Grand Theft Auto 6 but as of, or Grand Theft Auto 5, but as of now, it looks like that's the way they're going to be doing this. And then the gameplay trailer, July 9th of 2013, would have been August 11, 2025, as GTA 6 would be that specific date. So August 11, 2025 is when we can expect a gameplay trailer as GTA 5 received it in July 9th of 2013. And then August 15 of 2013, we got a GTA Online trailer set to release as well. And we could honestly get the GTA 6 or GTA 2.0, whatever Rockstar Games is going to call it, September 17th of 2025. So that is when we can expect those official release dates. And that is the GTA 6 timeline of when we can expect the game. And of course, the fourth trailer was August 29, 2013, and honestly, October 1st looks like the promising date for the fourth trailer of Grand Theft Auto 6. And then September of, of 2013 was a game release, and October 25 of 2025 is probably going to be the release date for Grand Theft Auto 6. So there is a lot to dive into, but that kind of gives you guys a good hint of when we can expect Grand Theft Auto 6 to officially arrive. There's also fan-made art that kind of shows us when to expect the official GTA 6 game, and this was all put together. I'll leave a link in the description. 
Trailer 1 overview, Lucia, December 5th of 2023, coming 2025, Grand Theft Auto 6 to PlayStation, Xbox Series X and S. Trailer 2 overview plus Jason, April 2024, would be possibly a winter 2025 release date. And of course, February 2025 would be the pre-order date, which would be very, very soon in another year or so. Trailer 3, more about Luyanida, which kind of gives us a good hint of what Vice City is going to look like, even more in Grand Theft Auto 6 in the HD era, as it took place in like the 3D era of Vice City, GTA San Andreas, GTA 3. And then February 26th of 2025 could possibly be the date with the protagonist. And then the online trailer would come April 1st of 2025. So once again, GTA 6, GTA 6 2.0 online, something like that. That's when you can expect the online edition. And then the launch trailer February 18th of 2025 would possibly be February 26th. Of for GTA 6. So there's a lot here, but that kind of gives you guys a good example of when we can expect the timeline as well. And then of course with PC, you can see the trailer being June 2026 and then fall 2026 and maybe even October 2026. So once again, like I said guys, PC might have to wait a little bit, but that's exactly what they had to do with Grand Theft Auto 5. So once again, PC guys, it's going to be a while before you see GTA 6, but I'm sure it'll come sooner rather than later. So just wanted to give you guys a timeline that PC players might be waiting a little bit and a little bit longer than us like P PlayStation guys and then also the Xbox guys who would get it right away. But PC would have to wait a little bit of a while. Anyway guys, that is all the information I got for you guys on this video today. If you guys did enjoy, don't forget to like and subscribe. For more daily awesome videos such as GTA 6 and Rockstar Games videos, that'll be doing on my channel. Subscribe for more of those. And of course, as always guys, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. When do you think the official GTA 6 release date is going to be? And what do you think of this basic timeline that kind of gives us a good idea of when we can expect pre-order dates, when we can expect the PC editions, and when we can just expect more trailers? You guys can let me know in the comments comments down below. Love to hear from you guys down there. But like I said, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys all later on the next video.